Hi guys, my name is Kirsty and welcome back to Upside Down Books. Today we're going to be discussing the Lara Jean trilogy and my thoughts about it. So if you don't know what this series is, this is a YA contemporary slash romance series that is actually really enjoyable and has been very popular, but I dare say I have a few unpopular opinions about it. So this has obviously got one of the best colour schemes going for a spine set that you have ever seen and I love that. It's one of my favourite parts about the series. And the first book, To All the Boys I Loved Before, came out in 2014. This has been a series that I feel has just been haunting me and following me around ever since it came out. I only just read the very last book in the series, Always and Forever Lara Jean, this year. I have to say, on the whole, I was a little let down with this series and I am sad to say that. This has been wildly popular ever since it was released on Goodreads. Book 1 has over 430,000 ratings, which is absolutely massive. Book 2 has over 200,000 ratings, so whilst that does seem like a bit of a drop from Book 1, that is actually still really high considering that it's a sequel. And then when we look at the third book, that dropped down to about 128,000 ratings on Goodreads. So on the whole, these are really well-liked books and they are quite widely read as well. If we go back through the order and have a look at their ratings, Always and Forever, Lara Jean has a 1.14 star average rating, which is actually really high. P.S. I Still Love You comes in at 4.12 out of 5 stars on an average rating. And the first book, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, comes in at 4.17, so it takes the winning cake there and coming in just ever so slightly higher, but I feel like that is a pretty even Stevens rating going on for the whole series. So the story follows a character called Lara Jean and it is all about her time in high school and falling in love and all the trials and tribulations that come with being so dearly young. I have read this over quite a spaced out period of time and I feel like unfortunately I grew up just after book two and it meant that I didn't love book three as much but I feel like I also have valid reasons so I will get to them when we move on to the third book. Now this is not going to have too many spoilers for anybody who hasn't read any of them but if you really want to know absolutely nothing then this is not the video for you. I will be talking about Lara Jean and Peter and if you don't want to hear about any of that then feel free to stop the video and leave now. But the, for the rest of you that are okay with me discussing just a few tidbits without giving much away at all, then keep on watching. So in the first book we have the whole letter scenario which is really entertaining and something unique that was super fun. This was the thing that I loved about this book was the fact that we have all these like heart on the page letters that have been sent out by Lara Jean's younger and mischievous sister to all of her previous loves. It is both really entertaining because these boys she hasn't seen or talked to for years and certainly doesn't have crushes on them now, but they're, they're crushes from such a long time ago. So of course it is wonderfully um, embarrassing. We follow what happens when the letters get out and how the response happens there. And then of course we have the fake relationship between Peter Kavinsky and Lara Jean, which is really fun to go through and we have many scandals in the first book as Lara Jean sort of blindly finds her way through the realm of romance um, and she's just such a gloriously innocent child. It is quite entertaining to watch. There's a lot of stress baking going on and things like that and she has a really wonderful family. I did love the family dynamics and the Korean representation in this book was done really well I thought. However, if I'm being honest, I probably could have left it with just reading book one because as much as I enjoyed book two, I felt that the story failed to progress after book one and everything that we loved and enjoyed from the very first book isn't actually expanded on with much depth for the rest of the series. So by the time we move on to P.S. I Still Love You, which I think is actually the shortest book out of the series, we are looking at some similar themes again. However, there was enough differences in the actual plot itself that I still really enjoyed this installment. And similarly with the films, I really enjoyed the, the second film as well. In this one, we are still exploring the dynamics between Lara Jean and Peter, as well as some unexpected resurgences of one guy in particular who received a letter in the first book and how that sort of pans out. There's some really great scenes where Lara Jean seems to really find herself where Lara Jean is volunteering at a retirement village and she gets some really great pearls of wisdom from the older people that are living there. I feel like Jenny Han did a really good job of sort of distracting us from the fact that Lara Jean as a character actually isn't growing very much in these books by giving us some cool and interesting storylines of Lara Jean doing all sorts of things and also with the looming threat of her moving to college soon and what does one do with the relationship if it has to be long distance. So where the series really fell down for me was with Always and Forever Lara Jean because this book was just the same old, same old, same old with not a very interesting plot. So unfortunately this just didn't do it for me. I feel like there were a lot of people out there who have read book one or maybe book one and book two but are still contemplating picking up book three and I mean 
I wouldn't bother, is my genuine opinion at the end of the day. I just, if you really want to know how this ends, then go for it, but I didn't find this a wholly satisfying or a particularly unexpected ending to this book. It is just sort of what it is. So I was definitely let down a bit because the same themes and the same things are being repeated in the final book as they have been in book one and book two, which is definitely unfortunate. We still have the same conflict within Lara Jean's mind. What to do about Peter and what not to do about Peter. We've still got an absolute excessive amount of scenes that are about Lara Jean baking and don't get me wrong I love baking but it just felt like it was a bit of a plot filler. We do take a little bit of a further look at family dynamics in the last one in particular between the sisters especially because Kitty is a little bit older by now but also again with her father and what is going on there given that their mother um, passed away when they were younger so but but yeah other than that it is really stagnated and I feel like the story just failed to take off with the last one and just go the extra mile that we wanted it to go. So that is sort of my opinion on the progression of this series. I'm not going to harp on too much about it but I wanted to share my thoughts with you because I was really disappointed. It actually took me a whole month to get through the final book in this series because I just wasn't enjoying reading it and I am a little bit stuck on the fence as to whether I just suddenly got too old or if I was not in the mood for the contemporary or I don't know any other factors but but I feel like there are enough points that I can look at and go there is just no character development at all post book two even post book one that I just felt that this could have been done a little bit better. I'm really excited to see what Netflix does with the series because I'm hoping that they will add a little bit of drama to just make it a bit more interesting so I'm really crossing my fingers for that but on the whole this is an enjoyable contemporary it's certainly a light-hearted read as a series but if you're looking for something super satisfying, super gripping, or for motivation to finish it, then I'm afraid I can't really offer that to you today because I just didn't think that the final book in the Lara Jean trilogy was worth it. So that is all my thoughts I'm going to share with you today. I'd love to know in the comments down below if you've read this series and what you thought about the ending and whether you found it satisfying or not. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Oh, no.